The line is so long, I feel like all the 20 year olds are here to get some alcohol. <laughs> Truly, it is a place to visit, and you can see by the amount of people. Hey guys, it's Elena, your expat living, working in Odessa, Ukraine, and today I'm taking you for a very special episode to Odessa city center. Right now is June the 9th, 8 p.m. on a Friday night and this is the prime time when all of the tourists and locals come into the city center to have fun. I'll kind of show you how you know crazy and interesting uh, Odessa is during the night and I'll also show you some of the prices so if you come here you know what to be prepared for. This is my most favorite place. I know that it's super touristic and it is touristic for a good reason. Just have a look at this beauty this is truly impressive for a very long time this was a hotel and now for the last couple of years it's been closed there are some shops around there's a really cool one here but since it's almost the weekend we are going to go for some beer the place is called fox and pipe and it's a very atmospheric pub it's an Irish pub and all the best traditions, a lot of red, a lot of green. So you can just sit at one of these tables. Look at them, they are, like, it's, it's so cute. And this is um, like an alleyway with uh, people living here. So you can see the old buildings of Odessa. It has a lot of attitude. So this is it. Let's have a look at the menu. So what do they have? We had the fish and chips, they're pretty good. 159 grivnias and Irish whiskey. Let's see if they have some, um, some beer, Irish beers mostly. And um, a half liter, like a pint of beer is from 126 to 136 grivnias. Um, are we gonna get something? Okay. The bill is 176 grivnias for two beers, a half liter for Eugene and a small glass for me. And we're ready to party on. Basovskaya Street, which is one of the busiest streets ever in Odessa. So right now, since the beginning of the summer, there's a ban on cars during the weekend in the city center. From 7 p.m. on Friday till midnight on Sunday, there are no cars allowed in the city center. There is a cluster, a couple of streets where only pedestrians can walk. And that's why people are here everywhere. However, Dribasovskaya, on which I am right now, this is um, a pedestrian street all year long. So you can see a lot of artists here, uh, a lot of people doing crafts, uh, painting, you know, ponies, like all kind of touristic entertainment that you want. It's super busy, it's super happening, and this is the visit card of Odessa. This is like the street, the main street that everybody knows of Odessa by. If you come here, ladies, take some comfortable shoes, definitely. It's not super comfortable to walk in high heels, especially if you're drunk. Just gonna mention that. Derebasovska is a lot of things, but it's not a place where you can get drinks or eat. I mean, there are a couple of restaurants, but I think the most famous restaurant here is McDonald's, if you know what I mean. So this is where the pedestrian Derebasovska ends. And normally here will be a lot of cars, but thanks to this new law in 2021, no cars allowed during the weekend. We're actually walking on the street itself. So 2021, 
has at least one good thing. The next thing that I wanted to show you is the drinking neighborhood. Because <laughs> we didn't come on a Friday night here just to chill, right? One thing that I really like about the Odessa city center is that it's very compact. You can go bar hopping and just do like a circle around the block and visit all the biggest, most famous bars here. And that's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna drink in each one of them, but I'm just gonna show you the places, the vibes there and the prices. One of the more accessible and budget-friendly places is Beli Naliv. Uh, this is a place which is famous for its Nalivka. This is an alcohol made of fruit. They also have some cheap options for food and that's where we're gonna go. We're gonna be responsible. The line is so long, I feel like all the 20-year-olds are here to get some alcohol. a quesadilla, a double hot dog, and two of this uh, really nice nalivkas. I have the one with apple and cinnamon, and Eugene has the one with black currant. And everything costs just 156 grivnia, so this is really, definitely budget friendly. Definitely a good place to get energized before a party if you don't want to spend a lot of a lot of money um, so now we are finally near like the iconic bars near iconic places one of them is the Fitz definitely a cocktail bar that you have to visit if you are in Odessa they also have an outside terrace called um, Fitz and Spritz we got a table um, nowadays all the menus are through the QR codes Fitz is a really famous cocktail bar and usually a cocktail, like an average one, costs around 220 grivnias. These are some specialty cocktails that they have made in-house and they are, I guess, like popular because of the place. All the prices are in grivnias, but truth be told, we are not here for a cocktail because I'm already pretty woozy. <laughs> we do want to have a look at their interior. They have like one of the best I think bars in town in terms of the atmosphere and the ambience. During the day, this is a barber shop for men, and during the night, it transforms into a bar. And I really want to show you like how it looks inside. I did try to film inside, you guys, but it's so dark. Like nothing could be seen on my iPhone camera, so I have to give give it up. I'll, I'll see if I have some footage maybe saved from another evening that I was here. But, you know, truly it is a place to visit and you can see by the amount of people how many people like to spend their evenings here. The next bar, just after Fitz, is Bofo Gallery Bar. And this, I would say, has more um, a more feminine vibe. One of their distinguishing features is the fact that they have a super beautiful chandelier in the bathroom and all the ladies take pictures there. And the other one is that they have this beautiful big candles that burn constantly and you have all the wax filling at the sides of it. Um, this is the place, again, I think it will be like super dark to film inside, so I don't think it would be a possibility, but do check it out. I think the Fitz and Bofa Gallery are pretty comparable in terms of prices, in terms of the quality. Uh, the waiters are super knowledgeable and they can make any cocktail that you want. And there is one more bar here that I really heard good things about. Uh, this is um, um, champagne and bubbly wine bar. So I'm not sure if it stays up late, but that's a bar that attracts like a beautiful uh, crowd of women. Usually women are the ones who go there, but it's, uh, it's really nice. And it's also super popular. It's called Sparkling Wine Bar. A really dreamy atmosphere. They have tables right on the road. Like it has a very Italian feeling. Um, and they mostly have wines and sparkling wine. So see here, if you want to get uh, like the cheapest bubbly wine that they have, it's 130 for, for a glass and then 640 for the whole bottle. And then if you're looking at wines, 
Now, it's a little bit cheaper here. These are white wines. We are going towards the Primorsky Boulevard. That's, again, one of the prime walking streets. This is the Dessa port. You can't see a lot, but the lights there are pretty impressive. If you have extra time, I do advise you to go down to explore it. It's more intimate in the evening, you know, great for romantic dates. <laughs> This is the more expensive touristic zone. There are some really good hotels here. It's called Atel Londonska. It's one of the most expensive. I'm not sure if it's still the most expensive, but at least historically has been one of the most expensive hotels in Odessa. And no wonder because it looks right on, you know, on the port, right on the sea and on Primorsky Boulevard, which is a really, really good place to be. But I do think that the best open terrace on Primorsky Boulevard is Dvor 12. I have a video in which I filmed about this place and I just want to show it to you one more time. It's really happening, really nice. Now, I know that I spoke a lot about places to get drinks and places to eat, but hey, you know, it never hurt nobody to get a little bit of culture. Although ballet and theater do last a long time, like two to three hours usually, you could always just leave after the first act if you don't enjoy it and just go partying and boozing all you want. Uh, but just seeing the opera and ballet from the inside is definitely an experience. And um, for people who have never done it, you know, it could be Pretty cool, more street artists. As I told you, this place in the weekends, during the weekends, in the night, is filled with them. Gorgeous, isn't it?
the famous opera and ballet theater in all of its glory. And although there are some cars here, all the stretch, which is usually super busy on the road, is now occupied by pedestrians. Great salsa music, I think they're having a party or something. I see the people are dancing. I've never been to this place though. And now they have competition with some traditional volcanic music. It sounds like Balkans or Romanian or Moldovan. walk has come to an end. I'm going to enjoy some really good food right now to get all the alcohol out of my system. But I do hope you enjoyed this one. And um, if you did, subscribe to my channel and follow me for more adventures. And feel free to leave a comment and let me know what was your most favorite thing.